Hi, I'm Mr. G, and this is my tutorial on how to use Soundation. This is a free music making program. So, if you're following along at home, hint, hint, people in the back of the classroom with their screens on. If you're following along at home, uh, this is what you're going to want to do. One, music is broken up into measures. So if you look at the top of the screen, you'll see there's like a ruler across the top. And it is divided into four parts. It is like the beat of a song. So like, boom, boom, one, two, three, four, one, two. Most music has that simple pulse to it. Most dance music has that pulse. Now, the speed might be faster, like boom, tick, boom, tick, boom, tick, boom, tick, boom. But musicians count one, two, three, four, a one, two, three. Now, there are different measures and styles of music. We're not going to get into that. But for today, the reason I'm talking about this is because over here on the right, it says free sounds. And I'm going to go into the electronica folder. And when I open the electronica folder, I see two other folders. One says 125 and one says 130. That has to do with the tempo of the music. All you need to know is that you should use only stuff from one tempo of the music if you want the music to sound like music you listen to on the radio. So I'm going to open up 130 because I like a little bit of a faster beat. And I'm going to just click on the first thing I hear. Okay. Oh, you guys can't hear that probably. Hold on. I'm going to do it again. Can you hear that? Okay. So that's the bass dent. So I'm going to drag that over here, and I'm going to drop it, and it's going to put it in to this thing. Now, I want to show you the most important thing. You need to line it up with the lines. There's these little very hard-to-see lines on my screen. Actually, turn your screens on if you're following. You're following along in my classroom right now. You're going to see these gray lines. So I want you all to open up the electronica folder on the right. Just click on it once. And then open the 130 folder, and you're going to grab Bass Dent C and drag it over. And I'm going to put it right at the number 1 on the side. I'm going to drag it over. And then to make it longer, in the upper right-hand corner, I can drag the sound out like this, and I can keep it going. I can have that sound just keep going. You'll also notice at the bottom there's a little, uh, there's like a zoom in, zoom out right here. This is the zoom in. It's like a little... It's just like a little slider bar, and you can zoom in as close to the sound as you want or as far away from the sound as you want. And if you get lost, we'll come back for you. We'll come back for you, okay? Because we're making a video so you can replay it. So I'm going to drag that out a little bit. I'm going to hit play, the big triangle, and it plays that song, and it will repeat it. It's uh, four measures long, then it starts again at five. There we go. Boom, boom, wow, boom. Okay, what's the next thing you need in any song? Who could tell me? You need a beat. So let's find a beat. I'm going to look through here, and I know there's going to be something that says something like beat. Oh, yeah, down here it says beat. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Beat amped. I'm going to drag beat amped, and I'm going to start it right at um, 5 because I have four measures, and then at measure 5, I'm going to drag that so it's lined up with the 5. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You drag it down to another track. So I dragged it onto the second track, Audio Channel 2. This, this track down here that's blue, we'll talk about what this is for. But for right now, so now I'm going to drag that out a little longer. And let's listen to that. Ah, oh, yeah. As soon as that beat comes in, it's all good right there. So now. 